You want to get high? Maybe. Cool. Me first. <clears throat> Ever have a sense of something you can't see, but you know it's there? Yeah. Well, it's not your imagination. It's real. There's a universe that exists beyond your senses. A whole spirit world waiting to get to know you and help you get everything you want. All you have to do is open up to it. Close your eyes and let the spirits know you're ready to make a change. Touched by an Angel. Season premieres CBS Sunday, September 26th. Ever wonder what a bag of crack looks like? In the last two years, over 5,000 people in Canada and the U.S. have died from using crack or cocaine. Do yourself a favor. Think about it. I guess I was just scared. And then when I found drugs and alcohol, it took away that fear. And I had a purpose in life, and that was to use. But then it all changed, and I was living to use. It's scary, because the thing I was using was killing me. It's not much of a purpose, is it? To chill my bones It feels like I don't know you anymore I don't understand why you're so cold To me with every breath You breathe, I see there's something going on I don't understand why you're so cold Are we taking time or time out? I can't take the in-between Asking me for space here in my house You know how to fuck with me Acting like we're not together after everything that we've been through Sleeping up under the covers How am I so far away from you? Distant When we're kissing Feel so different Baby, tell me how did you get so Cold enough to chill my bones It feels like I don't know you anymore I don't understand why you're so excited to see all of you. Is everyone ready to have some fun? Yeah! Well, there's a very special party inside my magical musical fun house today. Who likes listening to music? Me! Who likes dancing? Me! Music is one of my favorite things, and today we get to listen to a few of my favorite songs and learn some new dances. Is everybody ready to get started? Yeah! Okay, then, let's go! Hey, wait a minute. Where's my best friend? Where's Magical Jukebox? Yeah! Where? I don't see him. Yeah! Wait a second. I know how to get in touch with him. Through to Magical Jukebox, through to Magical Jukebox, where are you? Magical 
magical jukebox to Drew. I'm in the funhouse. Come on inside. I've got a surprise for you. I hope you brought along some friends. We'll be right in. Okay, everyone, hold hands and get ready for transportation. <laughs> Hi, Drew! MJ, where are you? Hey, where did everyone go? Over here, Drew! Drew, turn around! Oh, there you are! Hi, kids! Hi, Magic Jukebox! Today, someone special is coming over to teach us those new dances you were talking about! Oh, great! Who is it? Ms. Tango? Mr. Walt? She spins, she whirls, she's everybody's favorite girl, Miss Stacy! Miss Stacy? Why didn't you tell me? How do I look? Do I need a haircut? Uh, do we need to clean up the fun house? Oh, you look fine, champ. Calm down. I'm fine. What time is Miss Stacy expected? There she is! Stand by for transportation into the magical musical fun house! Hi, everyone! Hi, Miss Stacy! Hi, Drew! <laughs> Hi, Miss Stacy! <laughs> Thanks for inviting me to today's party. <laughs> you look very nice, Drew! <laughs> Magical Jukebox told me that you all wanted me to come and teach you some of my favorite dances. So, here I am! Oh, just so you know, I'm a Drew certified instructor, so we're definitely going to have fun. Ready? Yeah! What about you, Drew? Oh, absolutely. I'm a great dancer. I have all the stuff I need. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> Twinkle Toes. Do you have today's magic code? Except that. Oh, you know we need that magic code. <laughs> of course. I'll get it from Dottie. <laughs> Hello, Drew. I've been waiting for you to say hello. Hi, Dottie.com. Hi, Dottie. Oh, hello, Miss Stacy. Oh, Dottie, do you have today's magic code? Of course. But before I give it to you, remember to use it carefully. Special magical things happen whenever the magic code is spoken. I wouldn't want you to hurt yourself. Oh, I know, I know. I'll be careful. I'm always careful. Trust me. Very well. Today's magical code is Let's Dance. Remember, use it wisely. Okay, thanks. Come on, everyone. Let's dance. Hey, where did all this cool stuff come from? Drew, the magic code. You're right, Dottie. Our first dance comes from another country, another culture. It comes from Mexico, and it's called the Mexican Hat Dance. Oh, yeah. I was in Mexico once. It's this great little town right outside of Albuquerque, New Mexico. Drew, New Mexico is another state. Mexico is a whole different country. Wouldn't that be old Mexico? Drew, don't be so silly. Ooh, <laughs> See on this map? Mexico is a large country located to the south. Oh, yeah. I knew that. The Mexican hat dance has been popular for a very long time, and it's still a lot of fun. Come on, everybody, and I'll show you how it's done. As you can see, here in the fun house, we have sombreros, Mexican hats, that we're going to use for our Mexican hat dance. For you at home, you can use whatever hat you might have. Just place it on the floor, and we're going to dance around it. Okay, first let's learn the steps. We do this dance in two sections. The first section is called the heel switch. We start with one heel placed in front of us with our toes up. Then we do a little hop onto that foot and switch to the other heel. And switch back, and switch back, and switch back. Good! Now when we do this, we're going to cross our arms in front of us like this. Now let's try the heel switch. Switch, 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 switch. Good. Now the rhythm of this is one, two, three, hold, one, two, three, hold, like this. One, two, three, hold, one, two, three, hold, one, two, three. You guys are doing great. Good. Now what we could also do is in our holds, we can put in claps like this. One, two, three. One, two, three. 
One, two, three. One, two, three. Good. I think we're ready to learn the second section. Now this is the step that's going to take us in a circle around our hat. First we'll learn the feet. It's like this. Step, touch, step. Then you do the same thing on the other side. Step, touch, step. Good. Step, touch, step. Step, touch, step. Let's practice that in a circle around our hat. Ready? Step, touch, step, and step, touch, step. Step, touch, step, step, touch, step. Looking good. Just keep moving around your hat in a circle. Okay, now let's add the hands for that step. Both arms are bent, one's up, one's across your body with your fingertips underneath your elbows. Now each time you do step, touch, step, you're going to switch back and forth like this. Okay? Let's try it with the step, touch, step. Ready? Step, touch, step. Step, touch, step. Step, touch, step. Good. Now if the feet get a little confusing, you can just keep walking in a circle. Just keep switching your arms back and forth. Good. That's all there is to the Mexican hat dance. The first section is the heel switch. The second section is the step, touch, step. Now I'll cue you, which means I'll say aloud what you do when, so you'll know what to do. Okay? Ready to try with the music? Yeah! Okay, let's dance. Wait, wait, I forgot something. found my hat. All right, everyone, let's dance. Uh-oh, the magic code. My parents, they always think I'm not listening. I hear them. Wait a minute. You know, every day you have to deal with stuff on your own. So you want to know why I've decided not to smoke? Which reason would you like? I don't need to smoke to prove myself. My coolness is not on trial here. I don't smoke because... Sometimes it's what you don't do that makes you who you are. Last year, Canadians pulled over 26 million walleye out of Canadian waters using one of these. They pulled 15 million northern out using one of these. They pulled 10 million bass out using one of these. Unfortunately, Canadians also pulled almost 200 Canadians out of Canadian waters using one of these. What's that sound? It's coming from outside. Let's go see. Wow, look at that! Drew, Miss Stacy, come see. There's a bunch of chickens outside. They are so cute. I love the way they walk around. Bark, 
Did you know that the way a chicken walks inspired a dance? Can you guess what it's called? The, the chicken, chicken dance. dance. That's right. Want to learn it? Yeah. Great. Come on. Chicken dance is made up of four moves, and we do each move four times. We start with our hands up like beaks, and we open and close them four times. One, two, three, four. Good. Next, we use our arms like wings, and we flap them four times like this. One, two, three, four. Good. Let's put those first two moves together. Four beaks. One, two, three, four. Four wings. One, two, three, four. Good. Halfway there. Now we're going to shake our tail feathers. By shaking your hips back and forth, bend your knees a little bit, and you do that four times like this. One, two, three, four. Then we finish up with four claps. One, two, three, four. Good. Let's try putting that all together. Beaks, wings, tail feathers, and claps. Ready? Four beaks. One, two, three, four. Four wings. One, two, three, four. Four tail feathers. One, two, three, four. And four claps. One, two, three, four. You got it? Yeah. yeah. You ready to try it with the music? Oh, yeah. yeah. Great. Hey, MJ, how about some music? Oh, Let's get our beaks up and ready. Four beaks. Do you want to feel good? Four wings. Four, four tail feathers. feathers. Four claps. Four beaks. Four wings. Four Throw tail feathers. Four claps. Four beaks. Four wings. Four tail feathers. Four claps. Good, you guys. Now we're going to find a friend. Swing our partners. Link up. Skip around in a circle. Stacy to dance with me, but she'll probably just say no. Oh, come on. She's your friend, your buddy, your pal. You should have faith in yourself and your friends. Go on, ask her. I can't. All right, I'll ask her. And Jay, no, don't. Miss Stacy, do you have a moment? Sure, MJ. What's up? Drew would like to know if you would dance with him for a song. Why, Drew? I'm flattered. Of course I'll dance with you. Really? You will? What dance would you like to do together? How about the twist? That's one of my favorites. Sounds great. First, I'll show our guests a move. Okay, let's dance. Uh-oh, the magic code. Hey, what's happening? Wow, Drew, 
You can really twist. I'm impressed. So am I. But for the rest of us, there's a simpler way to do the twist. Let me show you. Okay, the twist is easy. You start with our feet slightly apart, and you imagine that your toes are glued to the ground. You're just going to move your heels from side to side. Let's try that. Move your heels from side to side. Good. Now keep your knees bent and get your hips into it, too, letting your hip go in the same direction as your heel. Good. Now let's try adding arms. Use your elbows to go in the same direction as the hip. So you're twisting back and forth like a washing machine. Now that's all there is to the basic twist. But we can add some variety with levels. That means you can twist low or you can twist high. Let's try twisting low. Get down to the ground. Just lift your heels. Now let's try twisting high. Add your arms and reach up to the sky as high as you can twist. Can we twist on one foot? Let's try that. Lift one foot up. Try and stay on your balance. Now let's switch. Let's try the other foot. Good. Now let's try twisting in circles. Just a little circle around yourself. That's all there is to the twist. You ready to try it with the music? Yeah! Hey, MJ, let's twist. All right, let's play some music. Everyone ready? Let's twist! All right, get ready. kill more than just drunks. Drew! 
Who's coming over? Oh, they're my friends from the U.S. National Taekwondo team. They're some of the best martial artists in the world. I'll let them in. Hey, Drew. Hey, Drew Star. Hey, Drew. Hey, everybody. These are my good friends. This is Peter and Steven. They're champion Taekwondo fighters. And this here is Walter. He's their strength and conditioning coach. Hey, kids. Hi! How you doing today? Great! Do you guys know what martial arts are? No. Martial arts are things like karate, Taekwondo, and Kung Fu. We do Taekwondo, which is a Korean martial art and an Olympic sport. Hey, where's Drew? Here I am! Drew, something about you is completely different. Did you change your clothes? I'm glad you noticed. Didn't you know that I'm a plaid belt? <laughs> okay, is everybody ready to learn some Taekwondo? Peter, Stephen, and Walter are going to teach us some moves. Yeah! Why don't we get one of the kids to help? Okay, come on, Ben. You guys want to learn some Taekwondo? Yeah! Show me your best self-defense stance. Ready, go. Ben, that's pretty good. Drew, I think we're going to have to work on that just a little bit. Mr. Lee, can you help him out? Yes, Drew. You always want to keep your head up so you know exactly what's going on, okay? First of all, let me see you stand sideways and put your arms up in a fighting stance. Good. First technique I'm going to show you is called a roundhouse kick, which is a basic taekwondo kick. Keep your knee very tight to your chest, turn your hip all the way through, and do what I do. Ready? Okay, let's try it. Go ahead. Very good. Oh, that looks like fun. Let me try. Ben, you did a nice job. Drew, I think we're still going to have to work on that just a little bit. <laughs> oh, I'll never get this right. Drew, Taekwondo takes a lot of practice. You can't expect to be great at it right away. But I bet you know the song, Kung Fu Fighting. Yeah! Come on, MJ. We're going to have to teach this one together. Let's dance! Okay, now for this dance, you're going to need a lot of room, so spread out. Make sure you don't hit or kick anyone or any furniture. Okay, we're going to use some of the moves that we learned from the fighters. We're going to start with two chops in front of ourselves, like drawing an X in the air. We're going to do two chops. Ready? Let's try it together. Chop, chop. Good. Next, we're going to block. You're going to swing your arm out like this. Block, block. Good. Now, watch me from the back, because when you do a block, you're going to step out with your right foot. So let's try it. The two chops, then the two blocks with the step out. Ready? And chop, chop. Now step out, lock, lock. You got that? Yeah. All right, let's try it one more time. Two chops and two blocks with a step out. Ready? And chop, chop. Now step out, block, block. Good. Next, we're going to learn the feet for the next move. You're going to travel to the right, and you're going to go step, together, step, together. Let's try that again. Ready? And step, together, step, together. Good. Now, when you do that, you're going to do four punches right in front of you like this. Punch, punch. Punch, punch. Good. You're going to twist your arm each time, bringing the arm that's not punching to your hip. Got it? Okay. Now let's try putting that together with the steps. Step together, step together with the punches. Ready? And step together, step together. Good. Let's try that again. Ready? Four punches with the step together. And step together, step together. Good. Let's put it, put that part with the chops and the blocks. That's two chops, two blocks, then the step together with the punches. Ready? And chop, chop. Step out, block, block. Four punches. Step together, step together. Good. Next, we're going to use two kicks, okay? You're going to kick in front of you. Kick, kick. Yeah, make sure you don't kick anyone. You can kick low if you need to do little kicks, or you can kick high, or you can kick right in front of you, whichever feels the most comfortable. 
So let's try those kicks again. Two in front of you. Here we go. Kick, kick. Let's put that together from the beginning. Ready? And chop, chop. Step out and block. Now step together with the punches. Step together. Now the kick. Left kick, right kick. We doing okay so far? Yeah. yeah. Okay, we're almost there. From here, we're going to hop like we're facing off our opponent. We're going to put our hands on our hips and fists and separate our feet. Okay, that comes right after the kicks. Let's put it all together again. Ready? And chop, chop. Now step out and block. Now step together with the punches. Step together, step. Here come the kicks. Kick, kick. Now hop and face off. Good. We're almost done. We're going to bring our feet together, our arms over, and bow like we're finishing up a match. That's it for the Kung Fu. We're going to run through it one more time because then we're going to change directions. It makes a big square. Let's try it one more time. Ready? From the chops. Here we go. Chop, chop. Step out and block. Now step together with the punches. Step together. Here come the kicks. Kick, kick. Hop and face off. And bow. Now this is what I call a four wall dance because you're going to do it in a big square facing each of the four walls. You got it? Yeah! You ready to try it with the music? Yeah! Okay, here comes the music. Let's start with a big breath up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Blow it out. Now let's do another big breath up with a bow. And bow. We're getting ready to start. Here we go, starting with the two chops. Everybody was chop, chop, chop. Fighting. Lock, lock.
Wow, Drew, that was great. Oh, thanks, guys. You look like a real martial artist now. But I'm afraid we have to go. Aww. Okay, guys, see you later. Come back anytime. <laughs> bye bye. I'll be ready for you. I'm getting a transmission. Oh, it's not coming in clear. Help! Transmission alert! Hold on, MJ. I'm coming to the rescue. Okay, now. All right, I'm here. Okay, now breathe in deep. All right, all right, hold still. Now. Hey, oh, that come tickle. on, MJ, hold still. Hold on, this isn't an emergency. Those are just bunnies. I guess our next song is the bunny hop. The bunny hop it is. Let me show you how it goes. Okay, once we've learned this dance, we're going to link up in a line and bunny hop all around the funhouse. But first, let's learn the steps. I'm going to turn around so that you can watch my feet from the back. That way it's easier for you to match it. Okay, first of all, we're going to act like we're bunnies coming out of our hole from the first time. We're a little scared, so we have to test the ground. We test it with our feet, right foot first. Here's what you're going to do. Out, together, out, step. You got that? Let's try it one more time. Ready? Out, together, out, step. Now we're going to do the same thing with our left foot. Out, together, out, step. Let's try that one more time. Right, then left. Here we go. Out, together, out, step. Out, together, out, step. Good. Next, we're going to take a little bunny hop forward and then a little bunny hop back. Ready? Forward, then back. Now we're going to take three big hops forward. Hop, hop, hop. Good. Now, if you're doing it at home by yourself or you're the front person in the line, you can put your hands in front like little bunny hands, okay? But once we link up, we're going to rest our hands on the person's shoulder in front of us. Let's run through the moves one more time, then we're going to link up and bunny hop, okay? Here we go. Start with your feet, right and left. Ready? And out, together, out, step, left foot, out, together, out, bunny hop forward, bunny hop back, three big hops. Good job. You ready to try it with the music? Yeah! Okay, let's have some music. Come on, kids, let's line up. Okay, here comes the music. Line up, hands on shoulders, right foot, left foot, forward and back, forward, now back, three hops, right foot, out, in, out, together, out, in, out, together, forward, now back, three hops, right foot, out, in, out, together, left foot, forward and back, three hops, right foot, out, in, out, together, left foot, forward and back,
funny. I lost my license drinking and driving. I also lost Kathy. Birthday. Don't be bringing that weak stuff in here. I told who's the man. I'm the man. Exercised lately. What's that noise? I thought our next song was the Hokey Pokey. It is. But what are you doing, Drew? I'm preparing. What do you think? I'm getting ready to put my left arm in. Oh, you don't have to take it off your body! Really? Oh, phew! I wasn't all that excited about putting my whole head in. You're so silly. Come on, kids. Let's show Drew how we really do the hokey pokey. Let's start by getting into a big circle. Hold hands and spread out. Big circle. Hey, you guys! I was only joking! <laughs> Come on, let's form a big circle. Hold hands. Spread out. Okay? Get in a circle. Good. Now drop hands. The hokey pokey is easy. There are really no steps to learn. You just listen carefully to the words and do exactly what they say. Hey, magical jukebox. Let's do the hokey pokey. Well, you ready? Yeah. Uh -huh. You put your right foot in, you take your right foot out. by Magical Jukebox. It's called The Hand Jive. Oh, he loves that song. Of course, I don't know why. It's not like he has hands or anything. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, everybody. 
everybody. I'll show you how it goes. Now, the hand jive is a dance with your hands. You keep them moving the whole time. We start out like a game of patty cake with two slaps on our legs and two claps. Let's try that together. Two slaps, two claps. One more time, two slaps, two claps. Good. Next, we put our hands facing down, and we're going to do a slicing movement with one a little higher than the other, back and forth like this. Slice, slice. Good. Now we switch with the other one a little higher and slice again. Slice, slice. Got it? Let's do those first three moves together. Slaps, claps, and slices. Here we go. Two slaps, two claps, two slices. Switch, two more slices. Good. Next, we're going to make our hands in fists. And it's kind of like the game one potato, two potato, three potato, four. We bounce one on top and say one potato, two potato. Switch, three potato, four. Good. Let's try that again. One potato, two potato. Switch, three potato, four. Good. Let's try those first four moves together. Ready? Two slaps, two claps, two slices. Switch, slice again. One potato, two potato, three potato, four. Good. Almost done. Next, we're going to keep our hands and fists, but we're going to lift up our thumbs and throw them over our shoulders two times like this. Throw it over your shoulder, throw it over your shoulder. Good. Let's put the whole thing together. Ready? Two slaps, two claps, two slices. Switch, two more slices. One potato, two potato, three potato, four. Throw it over your shoulder, throw it over your shoulder. And that's the hand jive. You ready to try it with the music? Yeah! Okay. Hey, MJ, let's have some music. Oh, and let's dance. Before you know it, 
<laughs> Thanks, Miss Stacy. I had so much fun. I just want to keep dancing. I'll see y'all again soon. My magical musical adventures will continue. like a radio. In fact, it is a radio that just sends out one assigned wave. See my wave? Now, all over town are these towers, little stations on them called cell sites, to pick up the waves. Each tower has an overlapping area where it can pick up waves, which is called its cell. That's why we say cellular phones, get it? Okay, you pick up your car phone and you send out your personal wave. The tower that's nearest to you picks up your wave and sends it out to the person you want to talk to. But as you're driving along, at a certain point, the red boat over there starts getting your signal stronger than the yellow boat. So the system automatically hands your signal over to the red boat. 
As you get past the red boat, you get handed over to the green boat. So you can keep talking and be constantly covered. That's how car phones work. Now you can explain it to your mom. How it works is brought to you by the 9X family of companies. You still going out tonight? Yes, why? All the lights. Oh, well, I always stay some on, you know, so they'll think we're home. No problem. But do they have to think there's a night ball game being played in here? Waste of electricity. I know. Know what else we ought to do? Put them on timer so they just come on when it gets dark. Or they can come on in different rooms at different times. It'll look like we're really at home. We could even put the radio on a timer. Great. What station? Ontario Hydro. Hi, Hi Where's Dad? Oh, he's off somewhere fixing something. I saw him with his stepladder and another bag from the store. It's been like that for days. Now he's putting in a light bulb that uses less electricity. Another good place to save, he says. Says all his friends are using dimmers and timers and who knows what else. Said to me the other day, see, Betty, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. And then he said for his next trick, he was going to disappear. Be a power saver. Let's give tomorrow a hand. Thanks. Now I gotta wash them. They're pretty shrunk. Gosh, yeah, but it helps to soften them up. I'm just gonna throw them in my folks' washer. Just by themselves? Yeah. Do you know how much hot water that wastes? Well, yeah. But... If the washer isn't full, it's gonna cost you. Hot water? Electricity? Exactly. But I gotta wear them tonight. Wear them the way they are. They look good on you. Yeah? Yeah. Ontario Hydro. A message from your Shriners Hospitals. You know, kids, the kitchen ain't a playground. There's a lot of danger hiding in here. That dangling cord can be a disaster. S especially if they grab hold and yank me. My cord should be up. Hey, you said it. Keep dangling cords out of reach. Delicious cookies can be a tempting treat. I should be over there. Keep goodies away from heat. So kids don't get more than a treat. There's a lot of things in here that can burn you. Oh, By itself, it's harmless, but filled with scalding hot water. I just wait for a child to grab my handle, then. <laughs> Uh-oh, a really bad brain. So to stay out of hot water, keep those pot handles turned in. Go ahead, join the crowd, or say no to drugs. Wasted days, wasted nights, wasted life. <clears throat> Say no to drugs. Yeah, sure. I understand. Thanks anyways. Bye. Hi, I'm calling about your ad in the paper. Yes, I can start right away. No, I don't have a high school diploma. I understand. Thanks anyways. Bye. Dropping out is no way out. Get our new leaflet on career choices. Call 1-800-661-2525. What would you do if a stranger talked to you? I wouldn't talk to him because he might be bad. Very good. And what would you tell someone playing with matches? I would tell them not to play with them because they might start a fire. Wow. How come you know so much? My mommy told me. Oh, and what did your mommy tell you about drugs? Your children are listening. Are you talking? I think everybody should wear them because if they don't wear them, they'll fly out of the car and they'll 
died by another car. There are these things, you have this thing that you hook, the, um, if you crash, you won't get hurt. A thing, a metal thing in with a strap. No, no, no. You put it around your waist when you get in the car. Your skin could probably zip off. Their buckles on one side, they come out on another side. When they click, that means you're safe. Oh, forget it. Seat belts. Wear them for a lot of little reasons. They make you safe. Make you safe. Hospital for sick children. Yes. We care for kids.